If you ever put the SU-57 Felon and the F-35 Lightning II side by side, something becomes obvious almost immediately. They look like they belong to the same generation. Stealth geometry, internal weapon bays, faceted edges, but beneath the skin, they're not even playing the same game. The SU-57 is a heavyweight sprinter built for violent maneuver and raw aerodynamic freedom. The F-35? It's the quiet assassin, smaller, denser, calmer, and armored with something the Sukhoi does not have, information superiority. The world likes to treat these two fighters as rivals sitting across the same table, as if one is simply Russia's answer to America's stealth empire. But that comparison falls apart once we ask a harder question. What was each jet actually built to do? Because purpose is everything. Purpose shapes wings. Purpose shapes engines. Purpose shapes stealth, sensors, doctrine, and war. Let's start with size. The Su-57 is big, about 20 meters long with a 14 meter wingspan that carries the presence of a flanker but wrapped in 21st century shaping. It breathes with two afterburning turbofans that push it toward Mach 2 Plus, giving Russian test pilots room to play with energy, altitude, and angles the way flanker family pilots always loved to. Nose high, aggressive, super maneuverable. The felon doesn't just turn, it contorts. It bends aerodynamics into submission using 3D thrust vectoring, massive control surfaces, and a lifting body big enough to swallow fuel, weapons, and radar arrays most jets would struggle to carry. Then you switch to the F-35, and the philosophy flips. It's smaller, 15.7 meters nose to tail, wings only 10.7 meters across, and just one engine. But not just any engine, the Pratt & Whitney F-135, the most powerful fighter engine ever put into serial production. The F-35 doesn't need muscle the way the Su-57 does. It needs heat managed, radar suppressed, and signatures erased. It needs sensors closer together for fusion. It needs volume for avionics instead of range. It needs discipline, not brute force and so it carries itself like a coiled spring. Never flashy, never flamboyant, but always dangerous, especially before you even know it's there. 